Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm going to try and turn my volume down just a tad. Test, test, test. Try that. Now, that might be my gain. Hold on. Test, test, test. Test, 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 test. That's actually a lot better. Um, probably not quite as loud as it usually is, but I can work with that. All right, so... Last time we left off, I was still building on the bridge. Going to be building on the bridge for quite a few episodes, but that's okay. Because um, that's what we do. It's, it's more like a vlog, if you will. But um, I, I really enjoy building and talking and just being here. So I hope you guys do too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and reach the max height each time I build up the ladders. So like... We got to the max height, and now it's time to start building up there. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to face right here and just start hitting this. And play, uh, sorry, and place it right up there like that. Now, next time I build, I'm I'm not going to have to go all the way down here and to build up there, but this works for now. This works. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> and I didn't place it there. What are you doing? All right, let's move that one. Um, I have a lot of comments all the time asking me, Code, you're such a nice person. You're, or it's not asking me. It's just telling me, Code, you're such a nice person. You're so, you're so nice and you're so thoughtful and, and uh, thank you. Um, I, I like to think that way. I like to think that I am helpful and, and useful and, but I mean, that's everyone wants to feel like that. No one ever wants to feel like they're useless. And in all honesty, nobody in the world is useless. So the comment of somebody posting that you're useless or that anybody's useless is an absolute lie. It's just 100%. Don't listen to it. Do not listen to it at all. There are a lot of mean people in the world. There are a lot of mean comments that people will say. Um, most of them, like all of them, are just to gain attention, just to gain an emotional reaction, and those are called trolls. So don't listen to trolls. Do not listen to what they have to say. Don't give them the time of day. And do not try and prove yourself right or wrong because a troll doesn't care. They will not respond. And in fact, if you try to argue with a troll, it's literally going to feed their ego. Like, oh, I'm getting attention. So, um, for the person that I'm referring to um it is kevin um one of the developers that created um robot 64 an amazing game by the way he had a guy that plays nintendo 64 games super mario 64 is one of the main ones and he commented to him that it was an April Fool's joke and that it was... I would like to see that guy try to build what Kevin built. Because he won't be able to. He can't. It is not within his capacity to even remotely come close to what Kevin did. And I normally don't call people out on this channel. I normally i am very nice. I'm very positive all the time. But I feel like... There was no need for him to tear him down the way he did. And in the manner in which he did it. So. This is general information. This is public service announcement. Whatever you guys want to call it. If you're going to post something. If you're going to comment to somebody. And you think you're being cute or snarky or... Think about what you're posting first, because you're, if you're going to be mean, you better be able to back it up. 
where you better be able to take the heat that comes from it because it is not nice okay Kevin if you're watching or if you're listening I am so sorry he said something like that to you he had no right and your game is amazing and you are an awesome developer I'm going to change the subject, <laughs> but it's going to be right in line with kind of what I'm talking about. Um, I see officers a lot of times on TikTok, on YouTube, on just chats, Twitters in general, and I don't know at what point the population, humans, began to think that officers were the bad guys or that they were mean or that they pick on people but I can guarantee you nobody who puts on a uniform and goes to work thinks to themselves how can I mess with somebody's life today how can I jack with this person's freedoms how can I suppress this person not a single human being that has ever put on the uniform goes in with that kind of mentality you don't you don't go and put your life on the line to mess with people. So anybody who's thinking, oh, cops are horrible. Cops are, cops are there to help you. Cops are there to protect you. Cops are, are there to assist you. And that is why they've put on the uniform. That's why they go to work every single day. That's why they put up with the media and the the outlets just talking down to them and being mean to them they do it for you to protect you and people are afraid to call 911 don't be afraid to call if it's even if you think it might require a 911 call you're not sure maybe it does call 911 and express to them whenever they first call, because they the, the first thing they're going to say is, 911, where's your emergency? Because they need to get, get the location first and foremost. Tell the person on the line, tell the person at the, the dispatch, this, is, this might not be a, an emergency situation, but that is totally fine. You can do that. Um, say your, and, and this is for parents and, and grandparents as well. Say your neighbor left their garage door open and it's 9 30 at night and you happen to see that their lights are on okay now if you know your neighbors well enough call them first all right don't just have the cops showing up um you might even i don't know get out of your house go over and knock on the door and, and say hello and how are you and you left your garage door open that would be a perfectly civil thing and a socially social, uh, socially acceptable thing to do. It is okay to go tell your neighbor, hey, you left your garage door open. It is also perfectly acceptable to call 911 and say, non-emergency, but the neighbor's garage door is open and I, I, I don't feel comfortable enough to go talk to them. I'm, I'm not really good friends with them, but I'm worried that somebody might break in. That is still perfectly acceptable. Because you're not sending the cops in to raid the house. That's not what they're doing. You're literally concerned about your neighbor, or you're literally concerned about a situation. You can call a cop. You can, you can I promise, it'll be fine. D dispatch will be like, okay, um, we'll, where's it at? We'll send, a, we'll send an officer over to check it out. But don't be afraid. Okay, don't be nervous when you're talking to a cop. Don't be like, oh, they're gonna, I did something wrong when I was in third grade. Or, no, no, they're going to find out that I do something wrong. Trust me, everybody has their secrets. It's okay, and you're going to be fine. Just call. Let somebody know. Because that officer, man, woman, white, black, doesn't matter. They put that uniform on to help you. 
to go and serve the public, to be the one to protect you to when the emergency situation actually happens and there's somebody in danger or somebody is in trouble, they're there and they did that for you. Be nice to them. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> Getting all emotional and stuff over here. Um, anyhow. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's more of a vlog channel. <laughs> I, I take it very seriously just because I've been on the receiving end of some very hateful comments. And I used to work inside the jail. People would hate me because of the fact I had a uniform on. And one of the comments I used to say, just kind of lighten the situation because I'm a jokester anyway, um, was uh, I, I'd get one or two that would get in there and they'd be like, I hate cops. And I'd have my booking uniform on before I, I got promoted to correctional officer or whatnot. And I'm like, yeah, I hate them too. I'm, I'm, I'm a correctional officer. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a police officer. <laughs> It would make him giggle. Eh. Probably not an appropriate joke, but that's fine. Um, quite a lot of stories I can't tell on a family-friendly channel. Maybe someday. Someday. Maybe. If my channel ever becomes non-family-friendly, which I doubt. I mean, it started this way. It's probably going to finish this way anyway. Sorry, that's, that sounded very... <laughs> Code Primate's channel is going to die. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Um, <laughs> if for some reason it ever changes or something happens, it's probably going to end on a good note. So, hey, you know, I have to look to the future and to what all possibilities could lead to. I mean, it's not... It's not beyond me to accept my fate that I am a YouTuber and that my channel could go for any reason. Now, if I had to make a prediction, I would probably say copyright strikes of music of some kind. That would be my downfall because I don't pay attention to it enough and I, I argue too much with YouTube whenever copyright gets held above my head. Most of them I win. And most people who claim copyright on my channel are like, oh gosh, don't mess with this guy. Because <laughs> I I do. I will fight tooth and nail if I think I'm right. <clears throat> a lot of the uh, YouTube um, copy strikes that I've been getting lately are because of YouTube's, or are because of um, Roblox music. That one's making me mad. So if you use music that is provided by Roblox for use inside games, um, th that music is provided by this company called APM Music. I thought it was AMP for a little while, and then I found out it's not. It's A, uh, AM, APM. Because one of them is like amp, like a amplifier. Anyhow. <clears throat> um... They have a contract with Roblox saying, yeah, we'll provide you music and, and you can use it inside your games. Copyright free. Roblox said, cool, let's do it. And they uploaded a bunch of songs. Basically, I think they just did an import export of um, sound files, probably through SQL in a database somewhere. Massive Excel sheet in import of some kind. Excel. No, it, it was because as soon as YouTubers like me started creating videos about games that had those musics in them, those songs, all of a sudden we're getting copyright strikes from that company, which isn't right. So we, uh, I went to the devs and I went to the dev forum and um, there, there was a couple of dev admins that stepped up and really helped out. I forgot their names, but thank you. You really did. You stepped up to the bat and you fought for us. I appreciate that. 
but um, first time it happened, I literally, like, they hit me on the strike, I wrote back a dispute, and they said I couldn't dispute it. And then all of a sudden, I saw my video removed, and I saw a, like, a copyright strike on my account. Now, that's a big blemish on a YouTube channel. You get something like that. <clears throat> But, again, I fought tooth and nail, and I, I blew the place up. I blew up YouTube, I blew up Roblox, I blew up Dev Forum, I blew up APM Music, uh, basically blast tweeting on YouTube with all the screenshots of what happened and how it happened and everything else. It may have been annoying at the time, but got the job done. They finally, uh, they were able to remove the strike from my channel, and I had to re-upload the video, but in the end, anybody who creates a YouTube video about a uh, Roblox game, and you get a copyright strike, or a copyright claim, dispute it, because you will be able to find that music on Roblox somewhere. But it has to be the APM music, and you have to go find it, don't just be like, oh, God said I could dispute Justin Bieber. <clears throat> no, no, that's, that's, mm -mm. that's not what I said. You can't do that. Justin Bieber's not owned by APM. <laughs> but if they were, you could. Um, wait, I'm confused. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, so from down there, I was able to... Uh, or was it right here? It was right here, wasn't it? Okay. So I need to go up one more. Just like this. Just like this. Okay, um, how am I going to place this? Just like this. Hmm. Is that how I did it down there? Maybe. I can go one more up. We'll, we'll go one more higher. <clears throat> now. This right here should get across the base, but I mean, we're, we are nowhere near where we need to be to get this thing rocking for a, a walkin'. Rockin' for a walkin'. New tagline for the bridge builds. Rockin' for a walkin'. <laughs> That's so... <clears throat> um, we can see where we line up, though. Look at that. That's awesome. In fact, this, let's see. This is a straight line or a straight walk towards that area. I wish I could, oh, wait, I can. Hold on. Let's drop this right here. And we will line it up with my foot. Just like that. Okay, so now... <clears throat> Wait, is this going to be tall enough to long plank up? This isn't going to be tall enough, is it? Not even close. Like, that's nowhere near what we need to be. Okay. So maybe we're not going to be long plank with that today. But that's fine. <clears throat> well, back to building. Let's go up there and uh, we'll drop off these up there. And that should be more than enough ladders to uh, start back in on... Well... point at the ground somehow. Wait, is that not counting as ground? That doesn't count as ground. Okay, so technically I'm moving something right now, but if you look, my cursor's not showing up with, like, the, uh, the green. Not until I go towards the ground. See the green down there? I can touch the mountains, but it's not ground. It's not until I go, boop. That. You have to touch the ground. 
That's weird. Weird indeed. It's okay. I'll just go up, down, all around, in the mood for food. Sorry, that's a Winnie the Pooh song. Copyright strike code. <gasps> Dang it. Oh, bother. Christopher Robin. I believe I've built a ladder. Just a wee ladder. <laughs> oh, no. Winnie the Pooh's gone Scottish. <laughs> Just a wee ladder. <laughs> oh, the wee lamb. <laughs> By the way, uh, speaking of... I guess a bear is not related to a pig at all, but... Um, we 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 all the way home. Uh, my ADHD has kind of taken off with me, and it takes me on journeys inside my head. And one of those journeys led me on a trip to this little piggy went to market. I don't know why that popped into my head, but um, that statement is very dark. This little piggy went to market. Mm. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. Another dark statement, if you think about it. This little piggy didn't have none. Mm, okay, not so dark. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Now, this is something I used to see with my kids. In fact, every once in a while, I'll still do it just to embarrass them because they're getting older. But there are a lot of children's nursery rhymes that are hidden meaning. There, there's a secondary meaning to them. For example, um, <clears throat> and this is sorry, this is getting dark, but it's still it's a family-friendly educational thing to know. Um, uh, oh, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Ring around the rosy, pockets full of posy, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Now that's a children's song where you hold hands, you swing in circles, usually with a large group, and you sing this. Um, it actually comes from medieval times of the Black Plague. And the entire song, it revolves around these signs and symbols of what was happening during the time. Ring around the rosy meant the redness around the eyes and the cheeks. Rings around the rosies. Pockets full of posies. So it was accustomed to take clovers and posies and place them inside your pockets as good luck to ward off the Black Plague. Ashes, ashes. These were from the pillars of fires that they burned at the time. I won't go into detail, but I'm just saying, very dark. Just think, think dark and oh, we all fall down. Children's nursery rhyme mic drop right there. That's what? And well, do you talking about God? Why? Why are you bringing this up? I don't know. It's my ADHD. My ADHD brain just went off in, into that direction with the piggy wee 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 all the way home and just nursery rhymes. London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> I won't get into it. <laughs> just know, dark, 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 dark. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, I should probably stop. I'll just, I'll, I'll let you know that the nursery rhymes that we know and love are covered in mystery and darkness. That's all. Illuminati confirmed. Code Primate is Illuminati. No, I'm not. I'm just, just a guy with a YouTube channel, a couple of kids, a wife, just hanging out. 
having some fun. All right, this is this is going to be interesting because as I climb these ladders, these ladders are going to be going up systematically. So, by the way, <clears throat> I was noticing something very interesting in the way lumber works. <clears throat> now, something that you don't usually think about, but it's something that I mentioned inside my book, and it's something I mention all the time on um, critiquing other people's games. Sound, okay? It's called folly or sound effects. Now, I want you to notice something very interesting about this game, the sound. When I click, click bump, the menu, click, close, click. My blueprints, different click. There are clicks and snaps. So, one of the things that makes Lumber Tycoon 2 stand out above all other games, most games, is the menu item clicks and sounds in the folly that is inside the game itself. Please do not forget to put sounds inside your games. Otherwise, Defaultio would be very sad. Can I get an F in the chat for Defaultio? I'm just kidding. He doesn't need an F. He's got an awesome channel, by the way. If you guys haven't seen what he's been doing lately, he's doing um, light painting with his robot. What? Yeah. And I think, I don't know if it's his last episode. I haven't watched it all the way through. I just saw him post it the other day, but he's already got some samples done. And it looks amazing. This guy's a genius, man. Genius. <clears throat> no, literally, I think he's on the scales of like 140, 150, if not higher. Which, I don't know what the max scale of genius is. I've, I've not done that in a while. I know that my son is 115, no, 117, and 115 is considered gifted. But they feel like he might have scored low because of the nature of the test that he had to take. Which I'm also worried about standardized testing with him. But that's that's neither here nor there. We'll get to it. We'll cross that bridge. Ha ha ha. Get it? Bridge? Bridge series? We'll cross that whenever we get to it. We'll cross that door bridge when we get to it. gosh there we go okay I've almost maxed height that one oh, oh. come on want to be just right Can't get it from there. Can't get it from there either. Okay, so we are going to have to climb up a little bit. Now, I can't wait for the the doors to get up this high. That's, uh, that's gonna be awesome. If the doors will go in this general direction. Oh gosh, we're almost out of time. And all I've done is built ladders this entire time. Code, why? Well, for the main part of talking to you guys and giving you my insights about cops and and different things, different aspects of what I perceive the world to be. And what I want to the world to become. Now, not all of you are going to trust cops, and I know this in the back of my mind. I know exactly the comments that are going to start popping up. Oh my gosh, Code, you're so right, and blah, blah, blah. That's fine. You, if you've already commented at this point, that's that's fine too. You can always edit if you want. But um, I want you to seriously think about a time when you should have 
told somebody or you should have gotten help and didn't and the uh, the result that came from that because there is and, and, and nothing too dark and sinister but just in general when you when you do something in life and when you make a decision um, you're and, and you're not happy with the outcome your mind always goes back and says to the situation well what if I'd done this or what if and you'll actually play out those different scenarios inside your head that is your self-conscious that is your your ie if you want to call it um, trying to justify or rectify a situation or come to a closure or come to an ending of some kind um, there are some situations that are so hor horrific and so intense that the mind can't do that which is also what causes a lot of people to shut down or it causes a lot of people to block out memories and things of that nature very traumatic experiences and I don't want you to write about that but if you have been affected by something along those lines I do ask that you go and you seek help you ask somebody you tell somebody about the situation because if you're not talking about it you're taking that and you're suppressing it down and that can really wear on you if you're as you get older um, this is more for the younger audience the older audience you might know what I'm talking about you you've experienced this before and it's that very traumatic thing that happens um, and you might not even know it um, me and my family we were eating dinner the other day and as we were sitting there eating I stopped them all and literally I, I went around and I said what's the worst thing that's ever been said to you and I won't tell you what their answers were but it was a fun thing to do and it got everybody involved and we went around one by one and it's not it's not like multiple things that were said the worst thing that you could possibly remember somebody saying to you the meanest thing the the most hurtful thing that somebody said to you and it was very interesting everybody's answers the next question that we did was what was the best thing, the nicest thing that anybody, known or stranger, has ever said or done for you? And then the next one was if you had one superpower that that was all you got was the one superpower, what would it be and why? And then the final question was if you had to lose one of your five senses, sight, smell, what is it? touch, taste, hearing. If you had to lose one of your senses, which would it be and why? If you'd like to play along with this little game, you can comment it down below. You don't have to give out details of your life or anything. Just general idea of like what you think. It's up to you and that's that's all I got. So. Thank you everyone for watching this Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end, but it's your choice in the end. I mean, you don't have to. There's no pressure for me. That's just a call out that I'm supposed to do from YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, for telling me about the call outs. <clears throat> if you would, hit the like button. Yeah, do that for me. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. True.